just what kind of weaponized video game torture we're in for tonight on Shovelware Showcase yet again. You may ask, why are we doing this again? I don't know. Well, I kind of know. It's because I have them. It's because the games exist and I have them. And they are... They are available to me. They are PlayStation 1 games, and this Shovelware Showcase should be more themed. So you're going to see some... You're going to see some stuff that maybe you grew up with, but in the worst possible form. Like Rugrats the movie. Now, I don't think I've streamed any of this shit before, but I, I very well may have and forgotten about it. I don't know. Hey, who cares? Maybe I've corrupted it. But the very definition of shovelware, you know, we talk about a lot, and I think this fits nicely. Like, oh, a TV show for kids that, you know, everyone loves at the moment, and there's a movie coming out. Quick, make a game. I loved Rugrats when it first came on TV. I watched it the first couple seasons I really liked. I never you watched any of the movies. Oh that my god! Even Pike the Happily Place, but not today. Robo Snail got the princess trapped in a tower in the volcano. We got to save her! Forget that! I'm just here for the rides. Princess will probably give whoever saves her lots of candy and other good stuff. Why is the audio yeah, compressed yeah, so princess. so hard? Wait. This is where Reptar lives. Why doesn't he save the princess? Reptar doesn't know she's in trouble. But there's a special helmet inside the park that helps you talk to him. If we get it, we can tell him what to do. Wow. I didn't know anybody could tell Reptar what to do. How is it possible for cartoons to have Uncanny Valley? And save her, you guys. Yeah! And have fun! And ride lots of rides, too! Yeah! And eat lots of mermies! And mud! You know, someone in chat just said this might be footage from the N64 version of this game. Which would be amazing to find out. If that's real, I would love that so much. They had to take a video of the... Yeah, the models look shittier here. Um, was this one's Phil, right? Yeah, look at look at Phil's shoulder. You know, just disconnected. Just a hovering arm. <laughs> yeah, Tommy's voice got kind of weird later on. <laughs> Oof. I'll take that, and there's room in my baby for more. Yep, typey joke. We, we've just started, and already there's there's talk of putting things in the diapy. Um, <laughs> I you know, I very well may have played this. I don't remember, or I totally blocked it out of my mind. <laughs> Euro Reptar Land. Man, this is like PS1 at its worst. I've said this before, I think PS1 can look better than the N64, despite having some limitations and some weird texture warbling and lower polys. There are games that look better. You wouldn't think so by looking at this. So, what is this, a minigame collection? Reptar control helmet. You'll need 16 gold tickets. Oh, this is a prize tent. I wonder if you actually ever even do anything with these prizes. <laughs> Vinny, you, pl you did play this game, but I can understand why you would forget. Did I? I don't know. 
Yes, a long time ago. You played the first one. Okay, because there's multiple... There are, there are multiple, um, Rugrats games, right? Hang on a minute. Let's see, can I buy anything yet? No. Alright, just wanted to check. Listen, I might have played this, and I might have corrupted it, or someone might have corrupted it for me, and then I played that. But whatever's going on here. I'm gonna view this... ...as if I've never played it, and I'm gonna say that I, I actually... ...um... Yeah, this is shovelware. I, I I hate it. I haven't even played the game yet. Like barely. Um, the only moves you have so far are walk forward, left, or right. That's it. Tommy looked like an alien ascending into the mothership. I like how the map warps, depending on what location you, um, you choose. <laughs> Welcome to the scum caves. Ooh, that's going in my diaper. Uh. How, what part of this is appealing to children? That's just slimy, gross... Terrifying caves. Is this a game? Okay, so I can't jump. There's no enemies. You collect tickets. <laughs> it's a compilation of mini games, but there are no mini games yet. Watch me enter a minigame just as I say that. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Find him and pop all the balloons in Ooey Gooey Land. Do, do. Do, do. Do, do. Okay, th so there's like 3% more things happening here than the actual running around collecting tickets. First of all, that laugh does not sound like how I remember Tommy sounding. But then again, I also stopped watching Rugrats probably after like season two or three. I don't I don't really know. It started getting weird. That's like when Doug like grew up and like went to high school and started dressing differently. Season 9 was good? Of what, Rugrats, Joel? <laughs> well, Doug didn't grow up, he just... ...ended up... I don't know, he did some different things with his life, and, like... ...him and Patty, like, started, like, cuckolding Skeeter or something. I don't- it was, like, weird because I... It was on a different channel, and Doug just looked different. That was a dream you had? Oh shit, you're probably right. <laughs> Rugrats had a grown-up show? Not a fan of season 9. Oh, there is no season 9. I see what you're doing there. There very well could be. I don't know how long the Rugrats lasted, but... And this actually, like everything is mo like jiggling. It's it's like Tommy's running through a world made of jello, and that's the PS One. But some games didn't suffer from jello syndrome as much. 
So I'm just gonna blame shitty development. Oops! I slipped! Now that's what I call oh, bubbling Oh wow, together. popping more balloons. I'm the king of the road! And the queen too! I'm the king of the road! And the queen too! Uh, tell me that again? What was that? Now <laughs> yeah, that's what I call bumping into each other! Mario Kart flashbacks. Whoa, where'd that come from? Everyone wants to pop my balloons. And now I'm just bullying the other kids. Where did you learn to drive? Where did you learn to hide your car? Hey, watch it! There's a baby on board! Wow, that's kind of bullshit. You lose so many balloons when you bump. Alright, I have to now stop playing this because we're on a limited time. Like, frame. And what else is there to see? Oh my god, what happened to this baby's head? Why is this baby like a hybrid between an onion and a soggy potato? What happened to you? That's Dill? Oh, right. Um... I think I stopped watching around the time Dill was born. Dill Pickles. Dill Pickles. Unbelievable. I just... I just got that. That was the movie? Oh no. No wonder then. <laughs> so what's next? Bob the Builder, can we fix it? No, it's fucked. So yes. Alright, hi, it's me, Bob. Uh, today we're going to build. So I'm gonna get my son, Breep, to help us build a bridge. Oh wait, wrong Bob. <laughs> Okay, so Bob the Builder was obviously... Uh, I did not watch Bob the Builder. You know, there have been times in the past where I was like, listen, I was too old to watch this thing. You know, like, whatever thing came out in, like, 2005 that was for children. And there were people in chat that were like, are you... How dare you, Vinny? How dare you not have... How dare you not watch Bob the Builder when you were 20? Anyway, this aired in 1998. How dare you never watch Teletubbies because you were 16 when they first happened, or whatever. Um, Bob the Builder started in 1998. So, I was 13. Can we build it? No, it's fucked. Let's knock it down, that sounds like fun. Oh, what is this game Lofty gonna look like? We'll use your wrecking bolt. Oh, like ass. Great. Well done, Lofty. They couldn't even chroma key the fucking wrecking ball properly. Great. Well done, Lofty. This is the height of lazy. At least Rugrats was 3D. This is just shitty, like, sprites. Good job, Lofty. Let's build the new bridge. But you know, when you're a kid, like I said, it's it's like try again. No, I don't want to try again. When when you're like really little, say you're like four or five, and you're playing this, and you love Bob the Builder. And you Move get Lofty's the Bob hook. game, and it's got a full three mini games. You know, like, being a kid is like being high, as I've said before. This is my... I'm gonna write a dissertation about this at some point. But you don't really notice. Like, there were people that were saying earlier that they had the Rugrats game. Wow. This game is better than I am. 
Um, there are people that were saying that they had the Rugrats game and they loved it. Oh, I see, because the color, the color is very important when it comes to bridge building. Look how shitty that bridge looks. Wow. Yes, Lofty. Oh, needs more triangles. I don't like it. It's too high. Don't worry, Lofty. The bridge is safe now. Try again. No. Cat. <laughs> Destruction. Build and cat. What's the name of the cat? Plectrum? Dinner time, Pilchard. Come P and get Pilchard. it. Pilchard. That's so English, it hurts. That name. Did I win? Come and get it. Dinner time, Pilchard. Are... Come and get it. Okay. Wait, we need to discuss this. That's the whole mini game. But even more baffling than that is you don't put the food near the cat. You put it in a random location around the cat. Come and get it. What the fuck were they thinking? To steal from AVGN for a moment. What were they thinking? Dinner time, Pilchard. It's a game for Babs. It's a game for Bobs. Help back. Well, there's a couple more. You know, there's some other hedgehog rescue. Hedgehog there... rescue. But why is the cat still hard? That's not what I expected that to say. <laughs> Medium. Hard. That's like kind of vaguely sexual sounding. Move the ball around the. This cat. Just keeps getting lost. Where could she be? Where could she be? Time, Pilchard. Come and get it. Come and get it. Come and get it, love. Dinner time, Pilchard. Come and get it. Well, that was definitely hard. This is definitely one of the laziest games. And you, the justification that it's for kids can only oh, get you so oh. far. I think the hedgehogs are frightened to cross the road. Yes, Lofty. It's dangerous, Kids I know. Kids deserve better than Let's this. Let's build them a tunnel. Move Lofty's hook over a piece of pipe. So, you know, your basic... That's it, Lofty. Your basic puzzle. Lofty moving on his own. Right, Lofty, Lofty looks pretty fucking dead on the inside. Lofty's got a thousand yard stare. This is the part of the video right. where the NAM flashbacks at a transparency of 50% appear on the screen. The sound gets muffled into echoes. Zooms in on Lofty's eyes. The color correction gets really red. Almost satanic looking.
and you hear the helicopters and you see them and you hear the bullets and the guns and you see Lofty's eyes and then in the distance some fucks about me to wear the flag dinner time Lofty So what do we do next? A bug's life. Or not. Or we can just continue looking at this screen. There are people saying that a bug's life is bad. And some are saying it is good. This is a bug's life like activity center though. Now, I've played A Bug's Life. There was a game. Before we get going, we need to know your name. Click on your name if you see it on the leaf. If you don't see it, type it in using your keyboard. When you're done, hit go. I'm going to name myself from, um, after the cat from the previous game. Pildridge. Do not remove, children. Yeah, there was a Bugs Life game that was included on one of those PS1 demo discs that I stole- got from a magazine. I was young. Feed the gherkin to the bug. Oh no! Maybe I can turn this invention into something to kick these grasshoppers out of town when they show up. Yeah! I'll Is there help. a bug as long as you're going to on their knees? Island in the city, maybe you behind can the leaf? The I'll need to modify my invention. Here, you can carry things in this leaf backpack. Here's what I need you to find. A flower? A feather, a mushroom, a playing card, a thimble, and a button. Oh man, I already I also hate this. A handy map. Click here to jump quickly to a place in Ant Island or the city. I threw in a camera too. Click on it, then click on a bug to take a picture. You can even save them in your photo album. Am I a good host or what? Why is it mixed so click shitty? On the quit do drop if you want to go back to your world. with our new friend. I won't be any trouble, I promise. Well, okay, but only in Ant Island. You're too young for the city. Francis can help out there. What an exciting cutscene from one, one static Please. angle where you can't even see anything happening. The budget. I wonder how much money they made from a bug's life. Oh my God! Good luck to you both. I wonder how much money they made from A Bug's Life that they could afford such an, such an extravagant video game. You found the clown. You found the donkey. That works for me! So there they go. Off to Hollow Nest. To Dirtmouth in particular. The South Tunnel Elementary School Second Grade Class would like to present the Bug Puppet Theater.
Hello, children. Today, Dot has brought along with her a special guest to help us put on a puppet show. for me! Flicks. Let's make a puppet show about when Flick left our ant colony to go to Bugtown. Here's everything you need to make your very own puppet show. This is the story of the puppet show. You can change any oh, part no. of it by clicking on a picture box. Oh no. Then when you're ready to hear your new story, just click on Mr. Soil and he'll read it back to you. Click on this button to make scenes for your show. Please. And click on either of these to make the puppet. When you want to watch the show, click here and we'll take you back to the Bug Puppet Theater for showtime. Flick prepared for his journey to Bugtown. But why does a child have to narrate this whole thing? I mean, it's bad enough that this has to be narrated, like, to begin with, but... Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, I like good- I like goodbye. Um, was very... Excited. Happy. Sad. Sad to see Flick. Goodbye. And there's lag. Whenever you mouse over something, well, when you move over something, it lags. Horribly. Wow! Francis, the ladybug. Let's make a puppet show about our friend Francis, the ladybug. The loading times are also atrocious. I know what I did wrong. I Job forgot to do the, uh... Ran away. Started to cry. Happy. I forgot to hit the showtime Excited. button. Sad. And... The Clover, the Council Chambers. Showtime! I mean, it's a neat idea for kids, but it's also... Again, very laggy, and, like, the production value is extremely low. Francis the Ladybug! It's fucking oh, MS Paint! I to be a ladybug! I can fly anywhere! Oof. Sometimes no one knows it's really me, Francis! Oof. Hello, Miss Ladybug! It makes me so sad to see you alone here. Hey, it's me, Francis! What a surprise to see a good friend here! Oh, Francis, confused! I was so worried you were lost! I'm so glad I found you! The end! Yay! Did you hear that applause? Let's make another puppet show. Francis. Please, stop. How do I exit? No, uh, no more puppet show, please. 
Are you sure you want to leave? No. Y yes. Bye. No. Come yes. Back to visit us Bye. Soon. This one is truly wretched. I'm gonna say the other ones were bad. Before we get going, we need to know your name. I'm click on your name if you see it on the leaf. If you don't see it, type it in using. Ant Island, Council Ch Spiral Root. Is there anything else one can do in this game? Welcome back to Ant Island. I hope you had a good time with Francis and the Bug World. Peruskin? Now it's my turn to show you around the Ant World. Let's go! Are you an angel? Fun. This is the altar where we had to leave our grain harvest for the grasshoppers. Really? Which is the, the bug movie with Sylvester Stallone? That was ants, right? Ants was actually pretty good. I don't remember if I ever saw a bug's life, but... I'll tell you what, if this was my first exposure to a bug's life, I would not want to see it. You have to be- hey, like, you really gotta be the toddler if you want to play this. Exactly like the one we need. See? What is it? Easy there, Afy. Now then, to find a buried treasure, just drag Afy to where you think something is hidden and click. If you're right, he'll dig it up for you. Remember, when you're done, be sure to put him back in my crown. But the dog disappeared and then reappeared. When you want to dig some more, you know where to find Afy. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes! Yes. Goodbye! Come back to visit us soon! Yes! I'm looking for things to do, but I don't want to do any of them when I get there. It's just so incredibly frustrating. And no, I don't want to fill her diller. That was Phyllis Diller. Before we get going, we need to know your name. Click on your name if you see oh, it on the That sounds kind of aggressive. If I was like a toddler and I heard that, I'd... I don't think I would like that tone of voice. Use the map the instead of quitting PT the... Flea. PT fleas. Okay, there's a circus, so there's the potential that we'll see a clown bug. This will be the last time I, I uh, select Hi, an area. I'm Francis. And yes, I'm a ladybug who's also a guy. I'll be taking over for Dot as your huh. poor guide extraordinaire. Just stick with me, kid. I'll sh oh, oh, yeah, yes. What do you want to do? You, you'll, sh you'll shit. Here we are, the center ring. Let's see if we can get that act together. You see Slim over there? Well, if we do this right, he'll get catapulted under that costume trunk. Pretty cool, huh? You need to make sure that everyone and everything is in the correct place. Click on the performers. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. You think they're in their correct positions? Then click on them to start the act. Ready? On with the show! Well, well, the look the prospect of actually trying to do this sickens me. This with you, Francis? My new friend, okay? Well, maybe your new friend can save my new act from becoming the laughing stock of the bug world. Hey, if you can get the act together, I'll give you this uh, thimble as a token of my gratitude. Hey! That's one of the things we were looking for. Well then, what are you waiting for? They're waiting for right, you in the So yeah, ring. you have to complete a task in every area. 
But again, like, I guess the game is kind of designed for babies, but it feels like it's maybe too complex for babies. I've only got 24 hours to live, and I can't believe I'm wasting it here. Oh, it's dark. Not really, though. I mean, bugs don't... You know, they don't have long lifespans. Teach the kids. Oh, it looks like it is to be my turn. <laughs> Welcome to the Boonta Eve celebration. We're going to do the pod race with Ben Quadraneros. Step aside, my plump friend, and see how it's done. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go use the camera, okay. To take a picture, just drag your camera over any bug and click. If you don't want to take a picture, just put it back in your leaf roll. Caterpillar. Caterpillar! A caterpillar a caterpillar is actually a baby moth or butterfly that doesn't have its wings yet. And then when they get them, they're so beautiful. This, <laughs> this game annoys me. A caterpillar's skin can't stretch. Oh, Instead, it loses or sheds its skin, then grows it again to fit its new, bigger body. I like the ad lib from before. To eat a lot of food to grow and become a moth or butterfly. It can grow a hundred times its own size in just two weeks. Yeah, that is, um... That's a pretty bad game. When you have games that are designed for children, you can get away with a lot more. But as I said earlier, don't the kids deserve better? Didn't didn't they deserve better? Well, I don't think this one's specifically for kids, but it's an M&M's game. Talk about Vietnam flashbacks. Someone said, you're being so critical, think about it from a child's perspective. Are you defending the previous game? I'll think about it from a child's perspective real quick. Uh, game suck cock. Yeah. Yeah, that's my conclusion. But I'm not a kid, so I don't know. Oh yeah, sure, no, it's- it's... I mean, you could look at it like it's an educational game. I look at it like it's a licensed shovelware cash grab to take advantage of, uh... Name recognition well, and children's stupidity. And &R. Not stupidity, but you know what I mean. R &R? Soft Is that brain a new candy. Are we being phased out? We are going on vacation. Come on. One last thing. Speaking of brand recognition. Dance, who did you Yo, what is wrong with your hand? Factory? Hello. Did you see Red's they hand? They what? And what? You're turning red. Er. Repeat after me. I did not leave the M&M's Minis in charge of the candy factory. This is Billy West, by the way. Ah! 
Has your chocolate melted? Have you gone completely nuts? Well, the minis aren't that bad. All they need is a chance. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I don't want to play more M&M's you games. It's a brain donor. Get to the factory. Pronto! There's a mini Why are you going on. They've stolen the formulas for all the M&M's candies. Stop those minis! Find those formulas! Go, go, go! There goes my partner. Hm. There goes my career. <laughs> Billy West's career did not tank after this. Dude probably made some bank. Oh no, is this a racing game? Oh no, are we gonna be approaching sound barrier? Fuck! So the the one I played previously, was that the one on the N64? Oh, this is much... Okay, that one was a kart racing game, and it was on always on the Wii. Guys, in my mind, the visuals were as good as an N64 game. That's two generations ahead of N64, and it looked about the same as an N64 game. Um, so this is another game that sucks shit. You know what? This is- this is kind of like Pepsi Man. This reminds me of Pepsi Man. And it's like an on-rails racer. It's- it's, uh, look. Here's how you can tell the quality of the game. Watch the car go uphill. Look closely at the car. Watch what happens. Effort. Development time. Ass Bandicoot is how I would describe this. Oh, hang on a minute. No, that- that sound effect isn't loud enough. We hear it so many times, I want to- I want to make it nice and loud. So we can all hear it. The way God intended. Do you think Billy West knew? Do you think he knew what he was putting his name on? The voice of Philip J. Motherfucking Fry. Oh, I'm back here again. The voice of Motherfucking Stimpy. That's a paycheck, you're right. I gotta stop being so critical, you know what? It's the same thing for, uh, Eggman. Mike Pollock. It's a paycheck. It's it's work. You're a voice actor. Do the work. You go crazy if you're in the house. Get out the house. Get the stink off of you. It's not like he did a bad job, too. I was thoroughly convinced that he was an Eminem. And I am I'm con I am also um I have this conviction now that I have to complete this level. I have no choice. more is there? Fuck me. Generic Samba music. Nope. Now this is the very definition of, of shovelware. I mean, there's many definitions of it, I think. I don't know. Well, no. I think you can put a lot of things within the definition, but that one feels the most pure, which is quick. Just just throw some low development cost into a game. Doesn't matter if it's good. Who gives a shit? Just put it out quick. And they they did they did it. They made an M&M's game, another one, 
and it was as expected um very bad that's why we're gonna have spongebob squarepants super sponge redeem the previous game THQ Spengelbert Booberdink. Oh my god, what have I done? I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Wow, not only was it max volume, but this game does not have volume control. This this game does not know how to use its indoor voice. I feel bad that Spongebob always shows up on Sundays. Like last week, Spongebob showed up in plug-and-play form, and it was... like, Christ-killingly ah, bad. Here we are at Bikini Bottom, and today we will be following my favorite creature, Spongebob Squarepants, on his adventures around Bikini Bottom. Today, he is in search of the best birthday You have to scroll the text yourself. His best friend, Patrick. The question is, how far will he go for his best friend? How far will he go? This is a GBA port? It fucking looks like it. Gary, I just had a and great sounds idea like about it. what to get Patrick for his birthday. Oh no, not you again. Just keep the noise down. What do you want? Sounds like it's coming through a fucking 50s ham radio. It's my best friend Patrick's birthday, and a signed photo of his favorite superheroes would be the best thing ever. Well, we are a bit busy. Uh, yeah. See nut butter. Like a cat. Wow. You can already see the budget is just pouring out of this game. Help, I'm trapped in a Sunday stream. This is not a joke. Alright, so as you can see here, oh, we've, there's a 3D element. There's a, numerous 3D elements. Hi, Squidward! Ready for another great day? Today's Sunday, SpongeBob. Forget the Krusty Krab. Hey, moron, why don't you take your net and go waste somebody else's time? Hey! <laughs> oh, yes, sir! Very squeaky footsteps. Oh, you got a uh, sonic thing. The, the spatulas pour out of the spang. The game, game Boy Advance version is actually the beta of this. I, I don't even know there was a Game Boy Advance version until someone in chat said so, but it makes sense. I mean... Look at that shockingly detailed animation for Sponge looking down. Kinda makes me a little uncomfortable, actually. I don't know why. Again, how could cartoons be Uncanny Valley? I mean, I don't even know where to begin. I I'm not gonna pre I'm not gonna pretend like I'm some kind of fucking professional and I can describe these things with any accuracy, but I will say... This suffers from a lot of, uh, things that the Super Nintendo suffered from when it came to, like, shovelware games, like Zool and a number of other, like, 2D platformers. The sprite is too big. The camera is, like, mental. And everything's too fast and too, like, the, the pacing is, is not good, like... 
by the time... By the time you get to an enemy, you're already a tit's length away. You know? Um, and it's, it's just really fast, and the animation's, like, fast, and... Yeah. So... I don't know. Bob, you silly <laughs> Oh man. Oh some frame rate dropping too. Come on, get up there. Really um qu quality quality um What's the word I'm looking for? Hit boxes, I guess. Wait, am I about to blow up? But I don't I don't know what that represents. Am I am I out of oxygen? I'm drowning. SpongeBob, who lives in a pineapple under the sea, drowned. Oh wait a minute. This is above ground. Oh, I see. I I get it. I get it. You need the water. It's opposite. He, he anti-drowned. That's... Unbelievable. Is what that is. <laughs> but that's also not specific to this game. That's probably just a Spongebob trope. Try to figure out how to do this. How do you how do you get up there? How do you um Oh, of course. Yeah, that, that twig was I mean of course the twig was what you had to do. Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's ass. I don't know. I think we've seen enough. We're doing a little bit of overtime tonight, but I'm gonna try to make it through the next couple games. It's amazing how these games are shockingly bad in a variety of different ways. That's the thing that I like the most about tonight's Shovelware Showcase. They're all pretty goddamn bad, but for different reason. Different reasons. There's more than one reason. Lego Island 2? Now, I know Lego... I I've never played Lego Island 1, but I I've heard that it's like a classic. on PC. The PC version of Lego Island is apparently a classic. I don't know if this one's gonna be, like, trash because it's the sequel and it's PlayStation 1. But it was included in the collection. Uh, someone in chat just said Lego Island 2 is an obvious beta. So it was never finished. Fuck is this? Listen, and I've got good news, and I've got better news. Which would you What? I'm all ears. I thought this was like Banjo kazooie speech. Yet and will contribute to this dirty and tribute egg a sturdy new lotto brick. <laughs> what? The Papa Hitchers Pizza from people of Lego Island. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Whoa. I mean, thank yous. I'm on it. Thank yous. I 
I can't wait to navigate a 3D space with a D-pad. This dude can straight up murder people with pizzas. And then sproit! I hope you're not leaving. Hello. Hello. I hope you're not leaving. Hell, my flare. How's my. Wow, this audio glitch is incredible. I'm gonna assume that this, is, this wasn't in the original version. Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is... <laughs> yeah. The audio glitch is definitely unique to the stream, let's say. Without giving away too much. Yeah, pizza noises. It's like Tony Hawk, but shit. So, I don't- I- again, I don't know how bad or good this is, but I, I am very well aware that people have a lot of nostalgia for LEGO Island 1 on the PC. Um... It... Doesn't play the worst. It's- it's playable. Hello there, delivery boy. Delivery boy! Do you think the cops will be upset if I throw pizzas? Okay. Is this Lego person naked? Yo, put on Indeed. some fucking clothes. And we're hit now with pepper. <laughs> okay. The temperature is wet, and pepper is so hot, and pepper is so. <laughs> <laughs> the audio glitch is making this so much more worth it than it normally would be. <laughs> Trying to aim the pizzas, to throw them. Proving to be a bit challenging. Okay. Oh, it's you again. No one's even driving this. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, so I know I'm supposed to do missions and deliver pizzas and stuff, right? That, that's the point of Lego Island. Not for you. Just put it. Just put it. Put it in. He's out back, and he has some bricks for you. Mm. 
Nan for you. I thought I was delivering pizzas, not Nan bread. Vandalizing a police car. Hello, Laura Brick, that officer Laura Brick, that is. <laughs> Ten and you for a good you sure. Protect and serve. Good pizza, that is. Have these brick. Yeah, you just get lots of bricks. Speak your dream if you don't swear your bitters. I mean I salute and I die. Duty, good sauce. <laughs> here, here, and here's my break. <laughs> what is wrong with me? This this should not be as funny as it is. Fine. The game, the game is probably not, um, deserving of being in the shovelware folder, but, you know, the person that made the collection included it. And it was my duty to check it out. Duty, good sauce. Sorry, pizzas will get caught. Oh, I will get you here to deliver. Give the thing to tell them to pop around again soon. I have to have a go for sauce. <laughs> you can do that for me. Well, Maybe that's what people. Maybe that's where the shovelware comes in. I don't know. <laughs> it's a very silly game. Lego Island is a very silly place. Get, get off. Okay, yeah. Uh, you just have to find more people to, to deliver the pizzas to. The infinite pizzas that you can throw at will. Hello, roguing up on you on Pepper's... Roguing up on you. So, how did your last... Not so good, Pepper. I came and I had dance to a couple of nights. I came in my hand. She didn't say that, right? Next time I should listen, and maybe you was All right. All right, that's enough of this. Let's get to the war section of the game, shall we? Okay. Um, it didn't seem too bad. Like, I don't know why it was considered shovelware, but it's, you know, maybe the dude just want me to, want him to play it. I mean, there's always that possibility. It's fine. Um, the glitch was amazing. And I think... I think that that's a game that would probably be fun. If I was younger, and I played it when I was like 12, 11, whatever, I probably would have enjoyed it. In fact, I know that everyone says that LEGO Island was like the first GTA for them. Well, a lot of people. Not everyone, obviously. But yeah, I think that's kind of cool. But, uh, we're gonna do- we're gonna do Stuart Little. I'm losing my goddamn mind. It's way too late for this shit. But it's the final game. I- 
didn't mean to skip that. We had better get you into shape, Stuart, if we're going to take on Falcon and return all the jewelry to its rightful owners. Thankfully, your brother George has built this training course for you to train on. It's a 2002 PlayStation 1 game, yeah. So let, let's see how well optimized this is for the PS1. As opposed to, um... Oh my god, skip, 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 skip. As opposed to the Rugrats game, yeah, this actually does... See see what I'm... This is what I'm saying about... PS1 games looking not okay, like complete the ass. we need to practice is your jumping skill. To jump, press the jump button and try oh, to get... this is not a good game for me to be streaming right now. I, I can't skip any of the dialogue. And you unlock one move at a time, it seems. Wait, Stuart, I knew you could do it. If you press the jump button during the first jump, you will jump again while in midair. Try this to jump over the next step in front of you. But you can only do that after. That's it, Stuart. <laughs> Time to practice jumping to and from the plant pots near us to make sure you've got the You can only do it after she tells you you can do it. Ready. You are now Come authorized to, to double jump. So we can continue your training. <laughs> <laughs> the nut emote is gonna come in real handy. <laughs> Here's a skill you might find useful, Stuart. You'll be able to climb over this wall behind me if you use your double jump skill. You'll be able to grab the top of the wall and then climb Are up. Are you okay, Bird? Up. Do you need someone to talk Give it to? A try and I'll meet you over the other side. I'm still, still waiting f to be able to press the button so that we can advance this. This is the first game that reads that the voice acting is slower than the text. Okay, you can quit the training. Is that Michael J. Fox for Stewart? Uh, it's, you know, maybe. Aren't you just over there? Oh, look at that. She actually flies. There, there's a little bit more going on here than the M&M's game. Hmm. Do I want to visit my old pal Snowbell? Definitely not Michael Jackson. I mean, <laughs> Michael J. Fox, excuse me. <laughs> Definitely not Michael Jackson either. Yep, it's that late. Ah, some of these games weren't aren't like the worst. I mean this is this is not great. And it may be shovelware because it is a licensed tie-in. But it came out in 2002, so that's kind of strange for PS1. Well, not really. That game, that system had a pretty long lifespan, but still it is very very late in the system's lifespan. PS2 was already was already out. Um, it looks pretty good. No, I don't want to... Why did I do that? But why? Why did I do that? I was just trying to jump. And then I jumped through the menus to the point where I would get sent back to the level select screen. Oh, man. 
So, I guess let's wrap this up by saying this game is kind of bland. But it's not too bad for a licensed tie-in, maybe possibly shovelware, but you, know, you, you could do worse if, look, if your parents came home with Stuart Little because you like that cute mouse movie, you're damn right you're gonna take this. Especially if they could have come home with the M&M's game. Or a Bug's Life. This is at least competent. Um, utterly mindless, though. And you have to kill, like, spiders and, like, bugs. <laughs> but wait! There's more. There is one more. And we're gonna spend no more than five minutes on this one. I said that was the last one, and, and that was right. This one... ...is a bonus game. It even said so. So this is a bonus game. Um... I guess the theme of tonight's PS1 games are major licensed properties. You have a lot of movies. You have a lot of, like, you know, stuff like M&M's and Lego, so just, like, big brands that kids know about. And I'd also say stuff that might be hard to turn into a video game. Which, I mean, clearly... Yep, it's Toy Story. Toy Story Racer. So apparently Toy Story got into the uh, kart racing thing. They, they wanted in on that. Confused. Just let me play the game. I'm ready to race. Does Buzz not have a no voice? No time to lose! Oh. That actually sounded a lot like Tim Allen. Maybe he wasn't doing anything at the time? True story, Tom Hanks' brother does a lot of the voices. Revenge is not an idea we promote on my planet. Tom Hanks' brother, Jim Hanks, does a lot of the voices. Or is it Tim Hanks? Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, he does a lot of the voices for games and stuff, and like, you know, the, the stuff that Tom might be too busy to do. His brother does it. It's Jim, yeah. Um, and this is actually Tim Allen, I think. This is surprising they got Tim Allen for this. Uh, okay, so... Visually, the game looks okay. There might be lines ripped from the movie. Oh, that could explain it. Okay, I'm trying to think about how I feel about this game after only a couple minutes. Um, mixed bag. The controls are not very good. This is no Crash Team Racing. This is no Mario Kart 64. But it's better than it has any goddamn right to be. I think the main problem is just the turning is weird and, and drifting does not seem possible. Let's see, I'm pressing different buttons and... Fairly fluid animations, too. Like, I'm kind of shocked this game looks as good as it does. Let's 
Let's try one more level, because that was an ice level. Um, there's always gonna be someone. There's always money in the banana stand. There's always gonna be someone that insists... Infinity and beyond! ...that insists a game is good on Shovelware Showcase, because they grew up with it. Um, controls are not that much better. You can very easily turn into going backwards. Whoever made this collection, I forgot who they are, but I, I don't think they fully understand what I'm looking for on Shovelware Showcase. This is not that bad of a game. The previous game was not, also not that bad. And Lego Island wasn't that bad either. I mean, it's the cool thing is we get to see a bunch of different games that I didn't know existed. And we get to see what games are decent that are made from movies. And which games are utter fucking go dog shit and garbage. I would say that this one is... ...pretty good. Oh yeah! Don't understand somehow my fuel cells have gone dry. Oh. Ah. That was awesome. Yeah, if I listen, I was if I was a Toy Story fan and I got that for Christmas, I wouldn't be upset. I mean, I'm more looking for shitty games if we're gonna do shovelware showcase, and I you know don't pre vet a lot of these things, so you know it's a mixed bag. But you know what? You know what the the true shovelware showcase was. The true shovelware showcase was the front ends we made along the way. Let's take a look at the art. 